Another really interesting way to do Lexio is uh, more of an Ignatian model of Lexio Divina that engages the mind, it engages the imagination. Um, and, and God uses all parts of us to speak to us. He uses all parts of our lives to speak to us, including our imaginative function. And so when we read the scripture, we should read it over and over again so that we're so familiar with it that it almost plays like a movie in our minds. So read the scripture a couple of times and then shut your Bible. Tell yourself the story. Narrate the story to yourself that you just heard. And then the, the next step, let the scripture play like a movie in your mind's eye. You know, I have a very overactive imagination, and so when I'm, I'm tired or I'm having trouble for whatever reason trying to really get into it, uh, I imagine myself sitting in a movie theater, and I just let the movie play on the screen. And after a while of that, you, you kind of enter into the story. And as you enter into the story, watching the story of the scripture unfold for you, you can simply just start to pay attention. You know, pay attention to where you are. Are you one of the main characters? Are you a bird flying overhead? Are you on the mountaintop? Are you the videographer taking note of this? Are you, what are you in the story? Where are you in the story? You know, is it hot? Is it cold? Is it sunny? Is it rainy? Uh, what does this smell like? What are the people in the crowds murmuring? Can you hear what they're saying? And then finally, if the Lord's in the story, what is the Lord doing? Is he looking at you? Is he speaking? What is he speaking? And you ask all these kinds of questions and you just sit still for a while, a good, long, solid while, letting the scene and the story play out in your imagination. When the story's finished, have a conversation with God. Tell him what you thought of it. Ask him questions. Sit and listen to, to see if he responds and gives you any more insights. And when you're finished, close your prayer with the sign of the cross and then take out your journal and write down everything that you remember experiencing. To do this every day is to practice sitting in God's presence and finding him when he appears, to hearing what he has to say and to reveal to you. It puts us in that mode that the word of God becomes alive to us. It really is a person who's speaking. What a great way to listen to him.